Good afternoon, my dear friends. This is Nushin. I've been out for a second, basically. But um, I just finished teaching uh, our high school students. And a very important subject came up uh, that I would like to ask your opinion about it. And um, it's something that might be taboo in our culture. Um, but um, in California, I have uh, found out that uh, it's easier to accept. And it's the concept of uh, homosexuality. And uh, the question was that uh, one of our ex-students who is in college has come out to, uh, to one of the adults in the group and uh, his parents were not accepting of his sexuality at this time. And this is my question. I'm sorry, I'm sitting outside with the bugs. <laughs> but does it make any difference if your son or daughter is a homosexual? Does it um, change the way you love them? We were talking about parents having unconditional love for their kids. So uh, does it matter who they go out to bed with, basically? Is that the question? Um, why is it important to you? Why can't you accept that if your son or daughter has this tendency towards um, loving the same sex as their own? Um, it should be different for you as a parent um, that, you know, uh, basically who they go to bed with, is it your concern? I really would love to hear from you guys. Um, another client of mine was uh, discussing the fact that uh, the, her son was addicted to the drugs and uh, alcohol and other substances. So the question is, do you want your kid to be addicted? to substances or be gay and healthy? These are the questions that I think everyday parents should ask themselves. Uh, I know it's a tough question to ask. Um, I was talking to this uh, client of mine last night and I was asking her, would, you, would she have preferred to have a kid with, God forbid, cancer? than being addicted or um, being homosexual and, uh, versus being addicted. Honestly, if you ask me, I would rather have my kid healthy and I don't care about their sexual orientations if that makes them happy because the goal of a parent is to see their kids happy. We do everything in our, uh, you know, in our power to raise kids who are healthy and happy. So this is my take on this subject. I would really love to hear from you. Doesn't matter if you want to text me, send me messages, if you want to send me a video, if that where it works, um, answering this question. How difficult is it for you to accept that your son or daughter is homosexual? Um, and let me know because um, I, we had the conversation with the kids in the class. These, these are high school kids. None of them said that they are not going to be acceptive of their friends if they come out. But the question is the parental approval. And that's what the kids deal with. And um, if that's something that's very important to the kids, what's gonna happen if you do not accept them for who they are, who they wanna love in this life? So um, I'm gonna come back soon. Um, I am planning on talking about my practice a little bit more later on but uh, since i'm on right now um, i am a psychoneurologist 
I do not diagnose, I do not label. Maybe that's why I'm so accepting of everyone. I've had uh, clients in the past who have been homosexual and they have been one of my, I mean, some of my most favorite and loved clients. And I don't judge people for who they choose to be with in their life. And even if my kids decide to do anything, I mean, I'm supportive of them as long as their relationship is a good relationship and makes them happy in life. So I hope that some of you are with me in this and uh, till the next time, you can visit my website if you're new to me. My website is drnushin.com and you can um, just uh, send me emails or messages if there is any concern. And if this is a subject that is a little bit sensitive to you, um, please share with me. I wanna know why. I wanna know what I can do to help, to support you, to accept your kids for who they are and what they do. So until then, I wish you a beautiful evening if you are in the Los Angeles area or anywhere in the US and beautiful day everywhere else in the world. Until next time, love you.